Okay, so this is kind of part two of the Regal Arts Come Shop With Me. Um, I wanted to get home and, you know, show you what I got and do a nice little Regal Arts haul. However, um, I was going to go to the laundromat right after. But when I got out from Big Lots, um, my legs hurt really, really bad. And um, my dancing ladies, uh, Chinese dancing ladies, um, so my legs were really like weak. Um, and my hips and my back hurt really bad. So I said to Tony, um, you know, I don't. I can't go to the laundromat right now, just, you know, let's go home, and, um, I'll go later, um, and, uh, remember when I was joking in the, um, on the big lots, uh, when I was bending over to pick up the, um, turkey napkins from the bottom shelf that, you know, if I, if I fall and can't get up, you know, you guys call the ambulance for me. Well, you should never joke, because we got home, and we parked in front of the house, and there's a curb um, that goes up to a sidewalk in front of my house. Um, I don't have a handicap special parking spot or anything. So, he goes and opens the door um, to the house and starts bringing stuff in. And so, you know, I, of course, want to help. Um, I don't know why I try. But, you know, I want to help. So, um, yeah, so I grabbed a couple bags from the trunk. Nothing really heavy. Uh, and, um, I had my guava ice coffee in my hand, too. I kind of looped the bags around my wrist and had my ice coffee in my hand from the top, um, which I do all the time. I went to stand up on the curb, get up on the curb, and, yeah, it was inevitable. I was going down. Um... Guys, coffee went first. I broke open and spilled all of her curb and the and the gutter. Um, and of course, it's all soaked in leaves, you know, fall leaves. Because <sighs> I'm not one of those people who really have to rake leaves or blow leaves out of their yard or anything like that. I mean, it's fall. It's fall. I want it to be fall. I want to rustle rustle through leaves as I'm walking to the car, you know, <sighs> but leaves and wet Wawa iced coffee, and it seems like every time I fall, I'm sitting in a puddle of iced coffee from Wawa, I don't know, but, um, it took, because now I'm laying with my arm, uh, my left arm pinned under me, um, on top of Dollar Tree, um, the pack of, of, uh, or, I'm sorry, big lots, the pack of, I didn't hit my head, I swear, <laughs> the pack of paper towels, I think was the only thing that saved me from, from, uh, break in my arm. Um, so it took a couple minutes to get all of that stuff out from under me and get my arm out. Um, now I am wedged between the curb and the car. <sighs> I didn't know how I was going to get up. And although Tony, you know, can lend a hand, um, you know, he hurts too, and he, you know, he has very little, little strength as well. Um, I mean, you know, he had a stroke, for God's sake, you know, 
so he can be as much help as he can be. Um, and he actually was a huge help and got me up, like, sitting uh, on the curb, facing the car. We opened the back door to try to see if I could get some leverage to pull myself up, or I could, you know, crawl in onto the seat somehow and pull myself up. It wasn't happening. So I sent Tony in the house to get this step stool that I bought when we first moved. Uh, we had this huge truck, and um, I couldn't, I couldn't get up into the truck. I couldn't get up. I could not step up, pull myself up into the truck. It was that big, because I have no strength in my arms or my legs. I have no strength. Um, so. Uh, so we stopped along the way and we bought that step stool so I could get in and out of the truck, which was a godsend. Um, and it seems like every time I fall, I'm sitting, actually, I'm sitting in a puddle of Wawa iced coffee, but I always have that stool around for some, some reason that stool is always there. So I sent him in to get the stool and I actually got up onto the stool. Um... Now we're about 25 minutes into this whole ordeal. Uh, cars going up and down the street, you know. Um, they probably didn't even see me. I was, like I said, I was wedged between the curb and the car. Um, so now I'm sitting on the sidewalk, like on the bench, though, up on the side. And thinking, you know, I can certainly pull myself up from here. This is high enough, you know, that I can get some leverage. Um, under my, my legs. So um, he opened the trunk so I could kind of put my hand in there and hold on to that. And sure enough, I finally, finally hoisted myself up. Um, so stupid, though. Immediately made him take me back to Wawa to get iced coffee. Because I spilled it. I had two sips out of it this morning when we got two sips. And it's all over the the sidewalk and the curb and the gutter. <sighs> I don't need any more iced coffee tonight, but I just was like, damn it, I want some iced coffee. At any rate, we got all the stuff in. Tony got all the stuff in. Uh, when we got back from Wawa, he was taking no chances and he took my he, he took my iced coffee and came in the house. And I got myself up you know, um, and the thing was that getting up on the curb is not a problem if I've got the um, the car door to hang on to, lean on to. But I didn't have anything to balance myself when I was trying to get up on the curb when I fell. So, you know, I have this vac machine on, which is it's pretty heavy, and it's, you know, around my neck, um, you, know, cr you know, across my chest like a purse. Um... And I know it makes me side heavy, and um, and that's that's the side that I usually, um, my right side that is the stronger of the two legs. Um, and now I went down. So I am now home. I changed out of all of my completely soaked iced coffee clothes. And uh, put on some clean ones, comfy ones, some shorts put around the house. And, um, and then I decided to just kind of lay down because uh, my back and my hips really hurt from going down. Um, I don't think I did anything. It's just, you know, old people, you know, I'm going to break a hip. It's inevitable. I'm going to break a hip. I know it. Because um, I'm weeble wobbly anyway. You know. Uh, and so, yeah. I mean, there's tons of times that I probably could have fallen. Even in that, even in, you know, big lots today, I kind of toggle around and trip and, 
like uh, catch my balance on a shelf or something. So, anyway. So this is my bed, and it's nice and soft, and comfy, yeah, nice and soft and comfy, and I have my dancing ladies up there, let me show you this while we're here, look, this is my, can you see it? Glittery nightstand I love. Um, I, I don't really have the room all put together yet. I still have um, tons of packing bins sitting in here. Mainly clothes and stuff. I need to go to the laundromat. I don't know when I'm going to get to the laundromat now. Um, but I have no curtains. <laughs> I'm the first floor corner house got people coming up and down and sideways and I don't I don't have any curtains I don't care and so there you go so the room's not not finished I've got a lot of stuff to put away yet and I don't have the headboard and footboard on on my bed and uh you know I gotta get my my beautiful white. My room is all done in white. Um, and uh, so I want to white and off white. So I want to, uh, I have a beautiful cream color dresser and a beautiful white desk with a great chair. Uh, for my desk chair. I love my desk chair. I'm very, you know, not traditional because <laughs> have you met me? Um, but Khan is in the bed there. Hey, Khan. Khan. You don't want to pay attention. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to say good night for now. And, uh, you know, this is why we, we didn't do a big uh, lots of all. Uh, and so that's that. I'm just going to lay here. And hopefully I won't wake up in the morning and feel worse. Of course you always do, right? You always do. The next day you always feel worse after a fall. Um, luckily, I don't think anything's broken. Uh, I did not hit my head. Um, I know I didn't break a hip, but I went down on the head pretty hard. Problem is that I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and a visiting nurse tomorrow afternoon and they always ask you, have you fallen in the last two weeks? That is a loaded question because there's always something that comes after it if you say yes. So... <laughs> I'm always like, nope, no, mm -mm. me, no, I never fall, no, not me, mm -mm. no, all right, guys, well, I'm going to go to sleep for a while, and I uh, hope kind of maybe this, I got some Bengay on my hip and my back, my leg, uh, luckily, I didn't pull any of the wound back out of the wound, um, and I didn't break the wound back. So. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I'm such a mess. But I love you. I love you for being there for me. And, uh, listening to all my craziness. So, I want you guys to take care. Be safe. And I love you, okay? Good night.